Jamie Ruby, Sci-Fi Vision. Hi, Imogen. Thanks for talking to me today. I appreciate it. I, I really enjoyed the show. Um, oh, cool. So can you talk a bit about kind of where you, other than the script, where you sort of drew your inspiration for her from? Yeah, um, actually a lot of books. So in the script, it talks about her um, fascination with Heraclitus, the philosopher and a writer called Simone Weil, um, quite uh, extreme ideas um, that she was adopting and became a disciple of. So it was interesting to get into the mode of thinking of someone who really is living their life uh, by someone else's ideas um, and the dangers of that, but also perhaps the benefits of that. Um, so that was a big part of the preparation. Um, but also being in New Mexico where we shot, that does do something to you. And, uh, you know, she's she's a real obsessive of, of the land and the outdoors and, and being there was could only benefit, you know, that uh, performance, uh, um, the inspiration for a performance. Okay. She's quite a mystery. Can you maybe tease a bit about why she's actually at the farm and what it is she's after? Um. It's unclear, I think, at the beginning, but um, the motives soon become apparent. Um, but I, I probably can't say too much. It's a difficult show to talk about because you end up, you know, getting your knickers in a twist. All right, fair enough. Uh, can you talk a bit about working with Josh? I absolutely loved working with Josh. Um, he's so fun. He just you know he he makes it he makes the job so fun and he cared a lot about everybody in the cast and was very present for any creative like qualms and questions and um he's a he's a goofball and you know it's it's just a hoot getting to work with someone like that who can who can take it seriously but also have a lot of fun um and I think he really enjoyed being out there you could tell that he just he loved it too so that was special can you talk a bit about you get a scene with let's just say an animal without teasing it I assume that that was like was that green screen was there somebody in a suit like how did you kind of do that scene without well, there's one scene which isn't spoiling anything with the okay. buffalo but that that was um that was a real buffalo but then the other one uh that much closer was... <laughs> yeah the one that was much closer the animal was much closer was a man in um a gray leotard with a um, sort of prosthetically artistically created animal head uh, with a lot of green screen behind him. So keeping a straight face during that was quite difficult. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. I just was curious how, how you did that. Um, can you describe your character in three words? Sometimes that's difficult, but, or a few words. I immediately think of Harry because she's got a lot of hair, but also, She's sort of a hairy person in the sense of like a hairy road, you know, you know, um, <laughs> lots of twists and turns. And uh, I think she is curious um, and I think she's restless. That's what I'd say. All right. OK, well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time and I enjoyed the show. Thank you so much. A lot. Have a good day. You too.